here we have been given two circles uh, in a plane so on the paper and we want to draw a common tangent to them uh, we already know that there are two possible common tangents one uh, or one category of common tangents go like this so they are called external tangents while the other category of tangents go cross phase like this and they are called internal tangents so we are going to look at how to draw internal tangents to two given circles for that let us mark the radii and centers of these circles let us even measure them so here the radius is 25 here the radius is 30 okay. uh, then we are going to draw a line joining their centers and then we are going to construct one more circle around either this or that circle doesn't matter which one okay. so I'll take my compass and move it to the center of one of these circles say here and then I am going to take the radius okay, equal to the sum of these two radii so 25 plus 30 equal to 55 and I am going to draw a circle this as a center over here and I'll go around like this and I'm going to call this circle as my base circle because we are going to use this as a base of our construction next we are going to draw the midpoint locate the midpoint of the line joining their centers uh, if you want to know how to draw uh, how to locate the midpoint you can click here to see that geometric construction and then with midpoint as the center and this line joining the centers as a diameter I'm going to draw a semicircle Let this semicircle uh, meet uh, the base circle at say point B and then we are going to draw an angle in that semicircle. Okay, So here it is O2 B O1 and you know an angle included in the semicircle is 90 degrees. Okay? But this 90 degree angle has one special side and that is the radius of our base circle. So this line becomes a perpendicular to the radius drawn from the point on the circumference and therefore this is nothing but a tangent to our base circle so in other words we have constructed a tangent to the base circle from this center O2 now we are going to draw a radius of the other circle R2 but in a special direction in a direction that is parallel to this radius so naturally this will also be perpendicular to the tangent that we have drawn and then we are going to take this tangent and we are going to move it parallel to itself so without you know changing its orientation so if we move this okay, through the distance r2 this is the next position of that tangent let t2 be the point where it reaches here and this is where it meets uh, the other radius now we haven't changed the direction of this line and therefore if it were per perpendicular to these two lines it will still be so over here so we are still having this perpendicularity and then again the situation is there is a radius and another radius and we have drawn a line which is meeting it at right angles on the periphery of the circles so it can't be anything else but a tangent to this circle as well as the other circle and therefore we call it the common tangent and then you can see uh, this is the tangent we were looking for the so-called internal tangent